So in this video, we're going to write a check. We're also going to do a bank reconciliation, and we're also going to make a general journal of the entry. So let's start with writing a check. There are actually two ways to write a check. The first one is up here in vendors, and we're going to use that for only accounts payable checks. Down here is where we're going to use for writing a check that we're not recording previously in accounts payable. So for example, we receive a telephone bill and we pay it right away. So that's the example we're going to use. So let's go ahead and click on write check. We are going to pay to the order of Cal Telephone. So I just started typing Cal and Telephone. And the dollar amount that we're going to use is $156.91. Under Account, we're going to call this, we're going to book it to Utilities and specifically to Telephone. That's all we need to do here. We will have a balance entry. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close. All right, so let's look at that in the check register. So we only have one checking account, so I'm going to click OK. And if we scroll, open that up just a little bit longer, we can see that we've made several checks today. And here's the one that we just made. You can see the $156 here. We could have also recorded that right here in the register, but I seem to like the format of the check itself. It allows you to see the debits and credits a little bit more easily. Let's go ahead and look at that in the journal. So let's go to reports, accounts and taxes, and to the journal. I'm just going to ignore that message. And if I scroll to the bottom, we can see here, we can see the credit to checking and the debit. Now, QuickBooks doesn't pay attention to the order of the entries like we've been probably taught, putting all the debits first, then the credits, but it's still functional. All right, let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and do a bank reconciliation. So once again, we're in the banking area and I'm going to click on reconcile. I'm going to go ahead and change this date and I'm going to go ahead and put in the any balance of 34,000. Oops, need to move my cursor. $34,467.98. I'm going to go ahead and put in a service charge of $14. And I'm going to change this date to 12-15-2015. Uh, this is account where our debit our expense will be recorded. And let's go ahead and continue. So when we start uh, with this, we want to either mark all or unmark all. So if we mark all, we would unselect those items that have not cleared. Or you can unmark all and then go through your bank statement and mark all those that have cleared. Since I been give, don't have the bank statement in front of me, but I have a date range of all those that have not cleared, I'm going to start with mark all. And I'm just going to scroll down on the check side. I'm going to deselect or mark as uncleared everything on the 15th. And on the deposits and credit side, I'm going to unmark or de um, for the uncleared items everything on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. And if I do that, we should be uh, reconciled. So if we I look and down here in the lower right hand corner, there is a zero balance. So I'm going to go ahead and reconcile now. If I have a balance, you know, a few pennies or whatever is allowable for your company, I, it, if I hit reconcile now, it will allow me to write it off. So I'm going to go ahead and click reconcile now. And I can display one of the reports. I want to go ahead and display a summary report for our reconciliation. And you can see here it shows the items, the item that were cleared, how many were left uncleared. If you want to uh, get to that later, if you forget to, if you forgot to print it or you needed access to it later, didn't have it right then, you can go to reports and banking, and here's your previous reconciliation reports. I do want to caution uh, when you go into reconcile, there is an undo. You can undo one, for, um, but always be cautious before you undo multiples. 
All right, so the last thing we're going to do in this video is to create a general journal of entry. So this would be something for depreciation. We're going to actually do one for accrued, ins accrued insurance, any of your other adjusting entries, for example. So to get to that, we go to accountant and make general journal entries. It is also here on the company menu as well. I'm just going to go back to accountant. That's where I typically go. On the bottom is last month's entries. So if there's an entry that you do frequently, you can go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up the information. We're going to just start with a new entry. So I'm going to start with insurance. So it's an insurance type. I'm going to start typing insurance. And we're going to start with disability. And that accrual amount is 50. And then we'll also add one for liability, and that's going to be 350. Once we go to the last line, it automatically forces us to put in a credit of 400. That's a great thing. QuickBooks is always going to force you to make a balance entry, which will help the reconciliations later um, because you really can't be off on those reconciliations. So I'm going to call this prepaid insurance for our credit. Everything looks good. It is an adjusting entry. And this is just to help track. It doesn't really change the functionality. And let's go ahead and save and close. All right, so that is going to conclude what we're going to do in this video. I hope you find the next one, which will be deleting and voiding entr entries interesting. So we'll see you later.